Hello again everybody, it's Jesse Leonard here and on this video today, well first things first, I am on location at the time at this time of the fit of the recording. And you're probably wondering what's this right here, sitting right here. Well, glad you asked, because this is the Sony MDR XB650 BT. Um, headphones, some wireless headphones that I just got, Bluetooth headphones. Let's take it out of the box and see what we got. So, of course, the Sony wireless headset. This is the um, reference guide, um, the warranty repair information. I'll just, let's see, I can get it all. This is just the, right here is the wireless wireless stereo headset it's like i said it's the mdr xb 650 bt and it's bluetooth and this just shows the precautions you, you can i guess pause this video and read it if you want i'll just have to read more about it later but you can pause and read it if you want. Um, anyways, that's the uh, reference guide. This is the warranty repair that I'll have to fill out and send, I guess. And what is this thing here? Let's see. This is... Um, I guess this is the instruction manual or something. I don't know. It says it's up to four hours, so I don't even know. We don't even know if this thing's even charged or not. I might have to make a part two if that's the case. Now, the, I'm going to do two attempts. The first time I'm going to try to do is hook this up to my computer and see if it will work. I, ha I do have a Bluetooth device, and of course, here is the charging cable for it. It does take like one of these micro USB ports. You see there. And here are the headphones itself. It's wireless and look at that. I'll be darn. Oh. What? Are these? Um. Okay, that's weird. I thought they were using. I guess here's the. The um. Thanks for it. It's got their power. Has a microphone if the camera will come on and focus already, please. There you go. Power, microphone. It's a charging cable for it. Uh, volume up and down. And of course, you can make phone calls with it. And there you go. Let's even see if, well, like I said. Um, I'm going to try to hook, pair it to my computer and see if it'll work. And the reason why, and if, and if this doesn't work on a computer, then I'm going to have to get a gaming headset, which, of course, um, I, unfortunately, sad news to report, I haven't said it yet on YouTube. My uh, Turtle Beach P11 headset has went dead. I lost audio to it just yesterday when I was playing Roblox. So, so these don't work on the computer, then I'm going to have to get another gaming headset. But... Um, okay. I don't want to power it on just yet, I don't think. I think what we're going to do, zoom that in for you, and I believe should be, yeah, kind of see that Bluetooth icon right there. Um, and um, I'll just, I'm actually controlling the mouse from, from right here, so... If I would have brought an HDMI cable, I would have hooked it up to the TV and living room. Well, of course, my grandma, I'm actually at my grandma's for those who don't know, and her and my aunt left to go, had to leave, so, oops, and as you see there, apparently I have the your phone companion on, so I'll get notifications from my phone. So, I think what you have to do, you see, I have my Note 10 Plus, but the Bluetooth is not on my phone right as of right now. Let's turn it on and see if it'll even power on. Oh, it's flashing. I heard some beep. I heard something. Oh, flashing red. So I'm wondering if 
It was flashing red for a bit, so I was wondering, oh, it detected the device, but it doesn't know. Let's see if it'll connect it. Oh, I think I have to right click. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me zoom in so you can see. Right click. See, it's detecting the device, but it doesn't know what it is. We'll just hit pair. And hit OK. Um, is it connected? No, it's not, because otherwise... Hmm. You got a blushing blue light. Bluetooth pass keys is not matched. Well, maybe it won't work on this computer. On a computer, then we're just gonna. It's gonna be stressful if it doesn't because it's saying unknown. It don't know what it is. I'll try to search services. Um. We'll try to pair it again. Apparently it's still not pairing as you can tell. Bluetooth pass keys does not match. Please try it again. Okay, let me pause here and, and see what the heck's going on. Let me just... See, re, uh, look over a bit. Hmm. Oh. Oh, maybe you're supposed to wait a minute. Maybe you're supposed to hold... You see something there that says hold it for seven seconds. I'm actually zoomed in too much. I'm sorry sorry about that. But let me see something here. It says hold it for seven seconds. Maybe that's the only thing I'm missing. I heard a beep, so maybe it is in pairing mode. Let's let me try to scan it again. Oh, now it detected it. There we go. We got something now. Pair. Did it connect? But did it connect is the thing. No, it still hasn't. Oh, I think, oh, it did it. Let's see, let's try to hit listen to music. Establishing a connection, and we're connected. If I'm trying to make a video, oh, it's, it's, and it's connected. Connect to MDR, Bluetooth Advanced Audio successfully. All right, so now we, let's, so it'll work on my computer, so that's good news. I probably don't need a gaming headset. Um, we need to test and see if it'll even get any audio, so let me pause here. And um, get these headphones adjusted right, and I'll be right back. You know, I gotta say, they definitely block out a lot of noise, as you can see. I am zoomed out all the way. And um, someone is just blowing the mess up out of my Snapchat, and little do they know I'm recording. But let's see if we even get any audio. Oh, yes. It's nice and clear, too. I'm sorry, my voice cracked, but it's nice and clear audio, too. Um, the same Bluetooth speaker is unused. That's because I didn't have a Bluetooth speaker at the time. I'm going to have to fix that soon enough. <sighs> Someone just keeps texting me on Snapchat. So I'll have to rename the device. You see it's showing uh, Bluetooth speakers unused because, well, because I didn't have... Bluetooth speakers, like I guess just explained. Let's try, um, let's right click on that, go to audio settings, and uh, we'll do sound control panel at the top right, and go to, let's see, I want to see here if the microphone is working. Test, test, um, apparently. 
Oh, it's turned down. Testing, testing. Apparently, I'm not. I don't, it's not doing anything. Let me hit listen to the fives. Test, test. One, two. Yeah, nothing. So the microphone is probably not going to work on here, I think. Testing, testing. One, two. Yeah, I'm not hearing anything. You see? Yeah, see the levels. Any there is a mic on here, but I guess it does. It's not going to work for this computer. See the levels. I mean, yeah, levels are up all the way, but nothing. No matter what, if I mute it or not. Hmm. You know, I'm wondering if I let's let's see. What if I disconnect it? Oh wow. And it's, it even taught the headphone, head, headphones even tell you same Bluetooth disconnected. That sounded creepy. Uh, let's um, do listen to music again. And it says Bluetooth connected on my headphones. I really want to see if I can get the microphone to work. I probably should not have closed out the. Probably should not have closed that out. Let's pull back up the sound control panel again. And any microphone? No, it's still dead. I'll, like I said, I'll just have to rename the device later. I know it's saying unused. But still no mic response. That's okay, though. As I, I just need it for, I mean, I usually use a different microphone when I'm going live anyway, so. But nice and clear sound. And because I do have the sound effects enabled, so it's, it is working. I almost got to turn it up. Hmm. I'll just have to do some tuning with it. Wait, wait let me see. There was one other thing I wanted to check. Can you, um, no you can't. Okay, so you can't adjust the for default format. Unfortunately, it's stuck at 16-bit. Um, what is that? 48,000 or so. Hertz and DVD quality, so we can't do anything about adjusting that. Does have a spidal sound. Levels at 40, so we can't do anything about adjusting the default format, which usually you can, but for this particular, being that it's a Bluetooth, and you also can't, you see the microphone's running out of one channel, 16 bit, 8,000 Hertz, and the telephone quality. So that, even though the microphone, the microphone, if it were working, was probably gonna sound bad anyway. So, yeah. All right, well, it's working, so that's all that matters. I don't know the battery status on this. Hmm. You know what? Let's see. I wonder if it'll tell you what the battery, how to check the battery on here. Static electricity accumulated in the body may cause mild tingling in your ears. To minimize the effect, wear clothes made from natural materials. Are you serious? No. So that's why the, I don't know why they made this out of metal in, in the first place. Um, range up to 30 feet. Bluetooth communication may be disabled or noise audio dropout or... I haven't had any dropouts yet. I'll just have to do some more testing and later on. This is possible. There, there is an obstacle such as metal or wall between the unit and the Bluetooth device. The device using a 2.4 gigahertz frequency, such as a Wi-Fi device, cordless telephone, or microwave oven, is in use near this unit. Well, precautions. Well. You know, that makes sense about the oven and stuff. It makes sense because I had problems on my Note 8 to where if I stand by the microwave, it would just dis it would just disconnect the Wi-Fi. So, so just saying if you're around certain appliances and stuff, it will probably start acting up. And I don't see anything about the battery yet. Please do not use, please do not place, place this unit in a place exposed to humidity, dust, soot, or stream, 
or up subject to direct sunlight. Ooh, yeah, direct sunlight. And um, system requirements for char battery charge using. Oh, what? So you're supposed to charge this with a computer? Come on. Charge without no change. Wait, sorry. Personal computer with pre installed with any of the following systems. And it doesn't say anything about. I uh, don't mind the dog in the background. I know she's upset because. Anyways, um. You can probably. I don't know if you can hear the dog or not in the background. I apologize. So, what? Power source. Use the showers when connecting via Bluetooth music. Music playback, max up 30 hours. Communication time, 30 hours. Standby time, 300 hours. Nope. Use of showers may, may be shorter depending on the codec and the conditions of use. Charging time, approximately 4 hours. This unit can be used for 10, hour after, 10 hours after 1 hour charging. Note, charging hours may be different depending on the conditions of use. It doesn't say any warning about using a, uh, like the, um, it doesn't say anything about using a plug for it to charge it, but it might not be recommended, in my opinion. I'm guessing maybe if I hit the power button, it might tell me to, let's see. wonder what happens if I hit the power button. Will it tell me my battery status? Battery level high. Okay, so you just hit the power button one time, press it once, it'll tell you. Yeah, battery level high. So to check, I, I, I was so stupid. I could have just done this and not waste all this time. So apparently to check the battery level, you press the power button once and it'll say. So it don't even need, it don't even need to be charged. I'll tell you that. Battery level high. So that's really good, actually. <laughs> Yep, and I'll probably make a part two of this, which I'll screen record and um, connect it on my phone after this video. Now, just a heads up, being that I'm on location, I might not upload this till either tomorrow evening or the day after or something like that. I mean, today is December 21st at the time of this recording, but... I might not upload it till I get back home because I'm on. They don't have. There is no Wi-Fi here, so I'm using data on my phones. So I probably won't upload it till I get back home, either tomorrow or the next day. I don't know how long I'm staying yet, but it's either until tomorrow or or the day after, or the, either I'm staying. In, so I'm staying here tonight, and I'm either staying tom again tomorrow night or the next night, but I don't know at this time. So, yeah. All right, everybody. Well, that's going to wrap it up. It does work on this computer, so that, that's a good news. Because if it didn't work, I would have had to buy a gaming headset, which was going to, um, you know. Let's actually, you know, one more thing I want to check before I do end off this video. I think it should tell you the signal strength somewhere. Or, wait a minute, I'm sorry. And Bluetooth General and others, high quality or mobile quality. I think I'll leave that alone. It's somewhere in here, it should tell you. It should tell you. Ah, uh, that actually just crashed. So that's great. Ah. Well, that that actually just crashed. I don't. I'm not. I don't even know what just happened there. But let me try to. Let's try to, to reopen it again. Somebody must have left their Bluetooth on somewhere. Who knows? It doesn't say it's not an iPhone. Shoot, even though it gives you an option for it. It's a device address. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my wrong. That's the wrong device. Let's do properties. Try that again, but somehow it crashed. It's a headset. Um, I'll leave all that alone. My, it's already irritating. Something is irritating my skin. I think it's just because of sweat. Well, I mean, that is made out of metal. And it says to wear some, some particular type of clothing. Oh, status. There we go. That's what I'm trying to look for. 
There you go. Signal strength. Now the Bluetooth, this, this is a USB Bluetooth device. Now the USB port is behind a computer. It is kind of, we'll see if it will. Yeah, I see it's getting stronger, but if I come back here, it'll drop, I think. No, still saying it's strong. I think it's just, let me see. Wow, still saying it's strong. 